Wow. What happened to love music like that? Seems all we vibing on now is self gratification and deception. Maybe that's why we all sing. <laughs> but you know me, we're just gonna get back to the real talk. So we're on the air. What's up, next call? What's your truth? The truth? I just got in trouble with smashing my mom's favorite mirror. Why are you smashed? Because I didn't like what I saw. I don't like how I look in the mirror. Wow. Okay, go on. I don't ever look like what I imagine in my head. I go through my closet and try on outfit after outfit. Outfits that I come up with to look like those I've seen in the videos. In my head, I think I'm looking like Nicki Minaj or Rihanna. But when I go to check myself out in the mirror, it's just me. What's so wrong with you? I'm too dark. Black. And the outfits just don't look good on dark skin girls like me. They only look good on girls to look like Beyonce or someone. And I can never look like that. You see the commercials? There are no dark skin girls in there. You see the videos? I hate my skin complexion. I hate being ugly. And more than that, I hate being called names. That's what hurts the most. I just wish I could be another color. <laughs> Let me state this again, ladies. It is your job to maintain an acceptable average while on the squad. Are there any questions? Yes. Is it still true you have to have a 3.0 or more to be head cheerleader? Yes, Melissa. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any competition? <laughs> Melissa Well, Everybody knows she has the highest average. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to know. Ladies, why don't we wait until next week when report cards are released? It all depends on if you make the team. So turn in your intro sheets and I'll see you next week at Triax. Coach. <coughs> Check it out. Look who's interesting. Ew. <laughs> I know Kendra's not trying out. <laughs> not unless she's trying out for mascot. <laughs> Y'all have black cat for a mascot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you wrong. No, she's not. She's black and smoke. If she makes it, what's she gonna wear? I know because the uniforms are already black. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She'll just disappear. Puff, puff, like so. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, it'd be different if she was Caramel or both like us. But she's black? Uh, like an Oreo. A burnt Oreo. Oh. <laughs> Like a blackberry. Black like a blackberry. Kind of boy. But you know what? It still hurts. I'm not really surprised they did those things though. I mean, everything negative is associated with the color black. Black hat, bad luck, death from the black hurts, and doing somebody wrong is considered black male. Why wouldn't they see the negative in me? I'm black too, and what can I do about it? Nothing. It's all spat. I can go in the back and lose some weight. 
It was about my hair. I could grow some old by some. But how to fix it I was born with? So I just smashed the mirror. My mom just did something emotional out of control with me. She has no idea what I feel. I didn't smash the mirror because I can't control myself. I just figured if I go to the mirror, then I ain't gotta look. Kendra, that's the setup. Nobody's okay. White people are too white. Black people are too black. Fat people are too fat. Skinny people are too skinny. People's heads are too big. Eyebrows are too thick. The only good hair is fake hair. Nose is too fat. Lips too thin. Pimples, rashes, bumps, too short, too many of this, not enough of that. Everybody has to look like the same commercial. Once you become conscious or unconscious of it, you're part of the program. We get taught early on that the fit in, you have to be something other than yourself. Before long, we don't even know who we are. Truthfully, with the whole color thing, we're all different hues of red. People like leaves from trees, different colors, forms, shapes, from different roots, but all the same thing and all beautiful. And you, have you ever seen the beauty of the midnight sky? In fact, stars shine bright when the sky is black, Kendra. You gotta love yourself, younger sister. But you talk to your moms. She'll understand. You think so? I hear you, DJ I do think the next guy is beautiful. What about Scott's my nickname? Might not be such a bad idea after all, huh? All right, DJ True. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my beautiful young sister. Catch you shining in the next galaxy. Now back to my real talk. Family, we've got to get back to the business of educating our children. If we don't tell them who they are, they'll never know. Speak beauty into the baby's ears so they'll learn how to love themselves. 